There's a philosophy that prevails in much of the religious world that, for lack of a better term, sometimes is called the health and wealth gospel. In other words, if you believe in Jesus and you claim to be one of his children, then you will be blessed with great health and great wealth and great prosperity and everything will always go your way and you'll probably never have any serious problems. Well, one problem with that is when you look at some of God's greatest faithful servants in the scriptures, both Old and New Testament, some of them were very poor, some of them suffered immensely, some of them had hardships and heartaches and heartbreaks and simply were not what we would look at as a definition of health and wealth. Even Jesus, the very Son of God, says of himself, the Son of Man, has no place to lay his head. And so, where does this come from? Perhaps there's a little bit of a misapplication, perhaps there's a bit of a, a large misapplication of something that Jesus says in John 14 and verses 13 and 14. And in that passage, Jesus says to his disciples, and really uh, secondarily to us, and whatever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And sometimes people take that passage as such an absolute statement that Jesus said, if you ask anything in my name, then I will do it. That's a promise of Jesus. So I can ask for wealth. I can ask for health. I can ask all for all these great material blessings that Jesus is going to give them to me. But I want you to notice something that Jesus says, three little words that he uses twice in verse 13 and 14 that I think qualify what Jesus is trying to tell his disciples then and for us now. Jesus says, you ask these things, look at these three words, in my name. That's the qualifier. Whatever we ask Jesus, whatever we ask of God, whatever we ask of deity, it must be in his name. The text does not say, and Jesus did not say, if you ask anything, I'll do it. Jesus said, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. We have to ask things that are in keeping with the will of Jesus, in keeping with the will of God. And Jesus said in verse 13 that whatever he asks will be done to glorify the Father. You know, the things that we think glorify ourselves and the things that we think build up ourselves don't necessarily glorify the Father. And so we need to be sure that we are not falling for what some have also called the name it and claim it gospel, but instead, let's look at Jesus' name and let's be sure that our prayers and our desires glorify that name.